Well, the Prince and Princess of Wales are here in the U.S., their first overseas trip since the death of Queen Elizabeth. Their busy schedule included a Boston Celtics game last night, this against the Miami Heat in downtown Boston, where there was a bit of a mixed reaction when the pair were announced on the big screen. <laughs> CNN Royal Correspondent Max Foster joins us from outside Boston with more. So, Max, um, the crowd chanting no. USA, um, nothing controversial about that on a normal day, but given who they saw up on the, the big screen, you saw the prince handle it well with the big smile. Um, the princess, maybe, maybe not so much. Tell us uh, what's behind that response. Well, I was there when I arrived just after that happened. I did ask, you know, people were talking about it when I got there, and I did ask around a bit, and I think it was a... Uh, it was really a reference to the Tea Party, you know, American independence, uh, very prominent English people there in the crowd. It wasn't so much personal from the people I spoke to. Um, so it was just another sort of element, really, of this trip, which isn't really working in the couple's favour. Uh, there was a lot of rain when they arrived. We've had this uh, race controversy back home in the UK. Today we've got uh, Meghan and Harry releasing a trailer for their new Netflix documentary. A lot of distractions from what they're actually trying to focus on, which is this big event on Friday, which is the Earthshot Prize, about uh, finding solutions really to, to climate change and uh, the climate crisis. Uh, but certainly it's getting huge amounts of publicity. We're at an event here and there are big crowds gathering here as well. Yeah, I did note the timing of that release of the trailer for the, uh, the, the Harry and Meghan Netflix special. Uh, but I wonder, so, so given all of that, events back home, uh, you had a little, not the warmest welcome, but uh, an NBA game, but also that. I mean, are they, are they still enjoying the trip? Well, what, what can you tell? What are you hearing? I think there's some frustration that there are so many distractions, and the big one, obviously, is this uh, race row back in the UK, uh, a black guest at a Buckingham Palace reception. Uh, basically being grilled about where she's from. She kept on repeating that she was from the UK, and they kept on asking what part of Africa she was from, for example, and that's uh, really blown up in the UK, and that uh, senior palace aide has stepped aside. Uh, but again, the person at the centre of this was back on, uh, on the BBC today, uh, saying that she felt that it was an abuse. She felt that she was being interrogated by this senior member of the palace staff. So that's a very frustrating development really back home in Buckingham Palace but also here for the yeah. Yeah, royals traveling. Yeah a member of the staff had some history going back to Queen Elizabeth I believe. Uh, Max Foster good to have you on the trip thanks so much.